to like Rika and the Rs get like sucked up by the beam, which you can just see here. It's a literal giant effing beam of like data that just sucks stuff up. Yeah. And it transports them into a weird valley where there are scratches and holes in the cliff sides and like the trees are all bent one way. There's just a bunch of houses that don't have windows and have these weird circular doors on them. And they're like, oh, alright, this is weird. Also, that giant rock in the background, Cal, looks like a penis. That's odd. Uh, uh vaguely. <laughs> you know, it's the desert. That happens a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure. But yeah, like, turns out this is an area where it's like, there's just a strong storm that just happens, like, frequently. And when it storms, it just blows a bunch of crazy, like, junk all over the place that just blows holes into rocks and stuff. Yeah, there's just, like, r like random appliances and furniture all over the place. Yeah, so they, like... They get blown into one of the houses, and, like, this entire episode is basically like, hey, let's just hang out with, like, some Digimon here for a bit. Alright, cool. Because <laughs> they have blown in the house, and, like, they meet Gigimon and Bobamon, which are just old people Digimon. <laughs> yeah. So the crazy thing, like... This episode is kind of always weird to me because, like, my reference for Gigimon has always been Digimon World, where he's like a kindly guide. Yeah, and he like helps you out. And in this one, he uh, he and his wife Babamon uh, like fight each other to deal with their boredom. Yep, that's what they do. <laughs> so it's like also they're megas. <laughs> Wait, are they? Perfect Perfect is Mega, right? No, Perfect is Ultimate. Oh, okay, never mind. But Ultimate. they're still pretty yeah. up there. Yeah, yeah, they're... Wow, what, what can they turn into, then? That's actually a good question, holy crap. I'll look that up. Oh, uh, what can... Shijimon actually turn into... Because, like, now I'm curious. Like, I'm also looking up. It's like, okay. So we have Powerforms Pixiemon? Excuse yeah, I me? Yeah, Powerforms Pixiemon. Oh, there's no next form. Okay, weird. Wait, why does it list Gigi Ma as Mega? What the crap? I guess he's a Mega. Yeah, that's... That's so weird. What the heck? Because, like... I don't know, like... Mega seems, like, too up there for him, right? Well, they say with age comes experience. Yeah, but he's, like, an old man. And he's small, and he has a little cat pop staff. Also, Babamon. Uh, also, Mega. Previous form, Rosemon. Oh. Wait, Rosemon? That's what it says. Wait, but Rosemon's like a mega. <laughs> hang oh. on, hang on. I had to, like, look this up. Because, like... Notes and references. Digimon reference book. Babamon. It is whispered that a Rosemon is placed under a spell and turned into the form. Okay, so, so it's like... Not necessarily an evolution, but, like, a weird... Yeah, it's like a weird transformation. Yeah, Rosemon can just turn to, like, Bavamon. What the heck? Huh. And... Also, apparently the information that Gigimon and Bavamon are married is just in the Digivice. Yeah. Wait a minute. Alright, hang on. Rosemon, next forms. Hercules Kabuterimon, Ho-Omon, Seraphimon, and Magnadr... Oh, wait, never mind. This is for, like, Omnimon Merciful mode. Alright, yeah. I can turn to Raflesimon with, like, Lotusmon. So, yeah, yeah, that's... Okay, yeah, never mind. 
for a second I was like, oh, Rosemont can turn to like Mega Commentary Mon what? And it's like, no. Also, I, 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 I don't know. I, I like Gigi Mon and Bubba Mon's designs. Yeah. I, I think it's I think they've got fun designs. You can't even see Gigi Mon's face because he's got so much hair. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hey, crap. I was gonna say something. What was I gonna say? <laughs> Cause I was... Was I gonna say something about, like, Gigi? I ah, no. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Man, this, this whole episode is just like, oh, hey, we need to hang out with old people because old people are bored and they like having kids around. <laughs> also, their house is cool. Where yeah. when they get when they get blown into it, it's like they're it's just like an entrance area, and then it's like their actual house is deeper underground because of course it is. Yeah, man. Like, but yeah. So like, Gigi Bob 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 just sort of like you know prepare food for the kids and stuff. And it's like at that point that we see it's like this is such a weird like little thing. Like, this is something that no one else probably ever cares about. <laughs> but it's like, if you look close, like, after, like, preparing the food stuff, like... Yeah, they, they have the chair. Dude, it's the chair. The chair. <laughs> like, you're I mean, for a digital... You're for a Digimon world, there's like a weird boxy chair that Poonimon sits in, and he's like, oh hey, if you're tired, you can use this chair to rest. Is it that chair specifically? It's, it's that chair. It looks just like it. I can confirm this. <laughs> I'll need a minute, but yeah, uh, I can keep talking and everything, so it's good. <laughs> Yeah, they have the epic Digimon World chair. <laughs> it's super important for anyone who's ever played the game. I mean, it is it is a pretty neat detail if it's intended. <laughs> it's like it seems to be like the only reference in their house, but it's just there. It's like okay, yeah, they got it in there. <laughs> yeah. Also, I said something about like, oh yeah, I'm used to Digimon being like a good guy. That's not to say he's not a good guy here. It's yeah. just... Uh, yeah, Gigi like, Mon's like a good dude in this episode. <laughs> yeah. It's just he's fighting with his wife, and it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they describe it specifically as like a couple's quarrel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, like... Because it's obvious they're like not trying to kill each other, they're just effing sword fighting with their stabs for a while, and everyone else is like, oh, let's be careful around that. Yeah. It doesn't even seem like they're trying to... Yeah, they're not, they're not even trying to seriously hurt each other or anything. It's just, this is what they do when the wind uh, happens, because it's boring. Because Digimon... <laughs> Digimon are literally, like, born to fight each other. Rika was so right all along. She totally was. <laughs> Digimon fight, it's what they do. Just look at this old man fighting his wife. It's not quite the same chair. It doesn't have, like, the... Like, the little blanket thing on the back. Yeah, well... And the dig and the one in Digimon World is darker. It, it kind of does have a weird blanket thing on the back, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like a throw. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah, it's it's not quite the same couch. Although, Gigi Mine's house does get upgraded. Maybe the chair does, too. It looks super similar to the chair. <laughs> it looks just like it. <laughs> But yeah, so like... Was there, was there always a Poyomon in the back left corner of the house? Yes, I believe so. I never noticed it. Poyomar Punimon, I forget which it is, but it's like, he does sit in the chair for a bit. And no, no, after... no, 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 that's, no, that's Punimon. In the in the top left corner of Jijimon's house, there's a Poyomon that you can barely see because he's kind of transparent. I, I Like, I just... I just walked up and talked to him, like, wait a minute, I don't remember you being here. <laughs> I feel like I vaguely remember that, but I'm not sure. 
Yeah, it's probably been a while. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. He tells you how long it takes a baby Digimon to go rookie and whatnot. Okay, yeah, I've definitely seen him then. Okay. Because I remember that dialogue specifically <laughs> with my nostalgia. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so... Sorry. So this episode's basically, it's like, yo, they they get dinner and, like, effing, like, Kenta and Kazu just take a bath and sing a bit. And Gigi Mon's like, oh, that's a good song, because it's like, yo, this traditional, like, just super traditional Japanese song about, like, sailors and stuff, with, like, a million innuendos in it. I couldn't tell what the what the subtitles were because it was like overlapping with itself. Wait, was it? Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, it's like oh, like my manly spray like hits the ocean or something. And it's like yeah, raise your mast and just stuff like that. It's like okay, yeah. It sounds like something school kids would sing about. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point, I guess. That's probably, like, where it came from. They yeah. hear an appropriate song, and they'd be like, haha, funny. Yeah. Yeah, like, I want to see what they changed it to, because I was like, alright, there's no way the dub's gonna keep this. Turns out they changed it to, like, an effing, like, country song. It's not. It's less of a country song and more of, like, it's got, like, a country song... A set of instruments playing in the background. Kazu yeah. and Kenta are just saying like bath time over and over again. Yeah, basically. <laughs> it's like, alright, well, I, I guess that's one way to localize it. Yeah. Yeah, so they like, yo, know, just do their thing. It's like they go up and they're like, oh hey, what if Gigimon tries to like kill us or something? And they yeah. look up and they're like, yo, Gigimon's just putting epic, like, dust data onto the fireplace, just like, oh, I'm so glad those kids stopped by, oh, this is so much fun. Yeah, and Gigimon and Babamon are just legit happy to have someone around to keep them company, and it's like, uh, and I, and it's understandable how the viewer would be like, okay, this is weird. Like, yeah. they're being so nice. Are we really going to have an episode with, like, zero conflict? Oh, we are? Alright, I guess. Kinda? <laughs> <laughs> like, the conflict is like, oh, we have to, like, escape the storm, and then they do, and Gigimon grabs onto the kite and just falls off because he don't want him to leave. Yeah, there's no real conflict. <laughs> Which is weird for, like, an area that's, like, this crazy, stupid, dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> it's like having Pierre's just fall from the sky. <laughs> and that's why their houses are deeper below ground. <laughs> Any big appliance could just crush their, like, that little shack on the surface. Man, I have to work, because, like, it'd be annoying, but, like... I feel like you have Gigi Mon's Omega. He could probably just stand out in the storm and be fine. Cause like fridges would just break on him, right? Probably, but he probably he also probably just doesn't want to deal with that. Yeah. It also makes me more like, what the heck are in like these other houses then? Are there just other Gigi Mon? Could be. <laughs> Is it just an entire little village of them? It could be, but we never actually see inside any of the other ones. Yeah. Yeah, so Kenta and Kazu are like, oh, hey, like, maybe we should make Gigimon our partner, because, yo, he's kind of old, but he's a good guy. Yeah, Gigimon and Babamon. It's like, hey, we may maybe we found our partners. Kenta's like, the kind of old. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so they're like... They go back up to be like, oh, hey, like, be our partners and stuff. And, like, Rika's like, all right, I'm just going, like, later, guys. Well, she leaves, and then they're, and then they pitch the idea of them becoming their partners. Yeah. And then, like, 
from the way I think it is, like, Kenta and Kazu are trying to explain the whole tamer partner thing, and, like, uh, in, a, in a bit of a mix-up, they're like, okay, now we're pretending to be Digimon, and Jijimon and Babamon are, like, doing fake card slashes to power up, uh, uh, what's it, Dark uh, Hirokazumon, or maybe it's, it might be Waru, Waru Kenta, uh, uh, I it's like War Hero Kazumon or something in Black War Kentamon. Oh, here, here we go. Something uh, like that. Black Black War Hero Kazumon. And, yeah, because uh, that's Kazu and like Me- Megal- Megalo Kentamon. <laughs> so Japanese just... names for them, of course. Yeah. So like they vaguely dress up for it like they get capes and stuff and they just start fighting each other. Yeah. And then Bobamon and Gigimon throw them their weapons and they're like, yeah, fight! <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> they're like of the whole detail that's like they do the card slash motion and plays like the epic music. <laughs> the card yeah, slash good. theme. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they just like <laughs> Kenta and Kazu somehow just become Gigimon's Digimon, <laughs> and Rika just shows up like, "Hey, what's take you so long?" And she's like, "Oh, cut the stupid crap out. We gotta go." Yeah, and they just do. <laughs> That's the episode. That's, yeah, it's pretty much it. Gijimon and Babamon, like, grab onto the kite, and they're like, no, don't leave, and the, they fall off. And then they just go back inside and start fighting again. Yeah, they try singing first, and they're like, oh, we're no good at this, okay, time to kill each other. Yeah, yeah, they're singing the, the song that they were doing. <laughs> Man, so, like, I watched a little bit of the dub, not much, but just a bit, just for the song part. I feel like this is one of those episodes that's probably, like, a bit better in the dub. Because, <laughs> like, they're working all these dumb localization jokes and stuff in there. All I really remember is that, like, Gijimon and Babamon, when they clash and, like, like push away from each other... In the dub, Gigimon would say, like, I love you so much before it launched them away. <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe trying to, like, lessen that they're fighting. Yeah. Also, uh, Renamon, like, so Gigimon and Bobamon are megas, and they're, I'm sure they're strong. But also, Renamon beats both of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm, I'm going to assume that Gigimon and Babamon weren't trying to hurt them. Yeah. So, so Renamon, like, holds off their sticks and then, like, throws them down the stairs. It's like the whole, like, you know, Puppetmon thing. It's like, oh, yeah, you take, like, a goofy Mega, and it's like, you know, there's still a goofy Conk Relief character, but they just have really high attack and defense now. Yeah. Because it's like Gigi Mom and Babamon get effing winded at one point. <laughs> like they get tired and it's like, oh. I don't really remember that, but I believe it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I should probably mention something out these, like, episodes. It's the, like, I very distinctly remember as a kid, like, I caught bits and pieces of, like, the first couple arcs or whatever. Like, the real-world stuff. Yeah. And I remember it's, like, somewhere during the Dave arc, I kind of fell off for some reason. I forget why, because I was, like, a kid, but it's, like, you know. I remember this- seeing these ads for, like, oh, yeah, it's, like, yo, did you want, like, tavers on, like, Fox or whatever, and it's just them walking around in the desert making jokes? <laughs> it's like yeah they're like oh man it's so hot it's like oh it's not the heat it's the humidity and just dumb crap like that i remember seeing that being like yeah i should probably watch digimon again maybe not right now though yeah so i've missed like all these early episodes 
So does that mean uh, like most of the digital digital world stuff is like blind? Yes. Cool. Because I uh, like I came back into it like when big plots started happening. Right. Yeah, it's one of those oh. weird things where as a kid, you know, it's like, you don't really, like, hear about it, but you just sort of somehow manage to, like, you know, show up when important stuff goes down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, at the end of the episode, we see Kalumon just get blown by the wind right by Jijimon and Babamon's house. So if, if uh, Rika, Kenta, and Kazu had just hung out there for a little bit, they would have found him. Yeah. Uh oh. Wah, wah. <laughs> so yeah, like last episode of the three.